Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Cincinnati Bengals and the Los Angeles Rams, and it's all up next. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion Cincinnati Bengals taking on the NFC champions, the Los Angeles Rams. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The CD, the Bengals, they're back for the second time in three years looking for that first ever Super Bowl title. Can you believe they're 0-3 in the big game? Two losses to the Niners in the 80s, two really tough ones, and a loss to the Rams in 2022. Their motivation, sky high. They're ready to bring that first title back to Cincinnati. Meanwhile, for the Rams, what a topsy-turvy last few years it's been. From Super Bowl champs two years ago to 5-12 and 12 last year, and now back to the big game, looking to make it two wins in three seasons. A few wild swings in there, but found their equilibrium as this season went on to get themselves back to the Super Bowl. Remember the first one they won? Big time free agent acquisitions. This one will be defined by their roster in a big time draft. to the 2023 season is at hand. What a spectacle in Las Vegas. We're off in Super Bowl 58. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They're brought out by a man now in his 15th NFL season, one of the most productive passers in league history, and a former Super Bowl champion, Matthew Stafford. As we begin the Super Bowl, we are looking at one of the game's most important players. And whether he's the centerpiece of the offense or taking a backseat to his teammates, offenses always look to the quarterback to be a leader in moments like this. He's got to be that calm, composed pillar out there who stays level-headed and keeps everyone focused on the task at hand. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. To throw on second down to Stafford. That's into the hands of 2 2 Atwell. Now, what a first down pickup of eight. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On the counter, here's Williams. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. Now a second and six. To throw is Stanford. That'll be caught by Cup. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to bring up the third down. Here's Stafford. And this pass broken up. And the contact, well timed there. And now fourth down. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone 
for a touchback. Here are the Bengals on offense, and here is Joe Burrow ready to lead them at quarterback. And no doubt he's living out a dream right now. He's had dating back to his first days of playing football as a kid, but he certainly can't get lost in the moment right now. There's still a Super Bowl to be played, and his offense, they're looking to him to be their leader. You can take it all in when it's over. Right now, you got the biggest game of your life to win. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here, first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber who runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. This one caught downfield by Higgins. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 26 and a first down. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Here's Burrow. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield and man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. On third down, Burrow. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 30. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want their body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. So the completion good for seven there, and it's second down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. On second down, here's Mixon. They juked him. A great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. Ten yards there on a Bengal first. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. And you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry? ball gets tipped in the air because if that happens then it's fair game for the defense now a run with Hubbard and he's able to get it down to the two yard line give him two yards that sets him up first and goal how about that there no frills no additives right nothing crazy just find a way to pick up the first down a nice run right there a chance for the first score of this Super Bowl here's first and goal Mixon We'll take this one in. Touchdown, Cincinnati. 
So both sides of the football contributing here early. Their defense forces the punt, and then the offense takes it down the field and punches it in on the short touchdown run. And Brandon, that's good complimentary football, and that's what they're going to need if they want to get out of here victorious. Evan McPherson now for the PAT. And he's got it to make it 7-0 Bengals. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it all culminated in the touchdown run coming from Joe Mixon. Touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. And the Rams getting set to go now. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Here's Stafford. He'll find a man over the middle, 2-2 Atwell. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas after this. 7 nothing is our score. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 44-yard line, here's second and four. Stafford. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. And Cup going to pick up a Rams first down as he'll get this up to midfield. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. From the 50, Stafford. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Tyler Higby. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle. You put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. Wasn't it fun in pregame standing downstairs and watching Matthew Stafford throw the football? I mean, that bad boy it's just a whistled. He I mean, can just rock it. It just whistled by us, didn't it? But what is the one knock on him? Accuracy. Yeah. And that's what we just saw there, an incompletion on that throw downfield. Throwing again at Stafford. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Now Stafford, they'll get this one to cop complete. Two yards on the pickup there, and that'll make it second down. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Throwing. 
going is Stanford. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. This goes to the goal line. You got to be very careful with the offense called rub routes. When I call a pick trying to screen you off from your coverage, does a nice job of avoiding that and helping force an incompletion. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. Stafford. Powering forward. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A very important third down conversion right there, because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. He's got Higby complete right side. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want to catch the football first. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Third and goal, a big play in this Super Bowl. To the air again, Stafford. And he's got it. It's cut for a ram touchdown. It's a six-yard touchdown pass, and the Rams are an extra point away from tying up this Super Bowl. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball in the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. two-yard line. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. As this offense takes the field again, it's been a while since they've been out there. We just saw that long touchdown drive by the opposition, but remember, when this crew was out here last, Charles, they scored as well. And let's make sure we give both offensive staff some credit, and especially the offensive coordinators, because we spoke with both of them in the lead-up to this game, and both were really confident in their game plans. They felt like they had scouted their opponents and focused on specific areas in practice this week to make sure that they were ready to go. And frankly, it looks like they both did an excellent job. Yeah, we'll see if those game plans can keep this streak of touchdowns going here. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Meanwhile, Burrows throw into the hands of Sample. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Here's a throw-out line complete to his running back right side. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. 
He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. 38-yard line, second and 11. Burrow will throw. Over the middle, he finds Higgins. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now Burrow. That is caught. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. On first and ten, Joe Burrow. This one hauled in by Sample. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Mixon with a first down carry. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? Now it's Burrow. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the Bengals are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. They'll give it to Mixon. And he's in. Touchdown, Bengals. Joe Mixon, his second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Bengals will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to seven. Touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Now the Rams about to go on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Back to throw, Stafford. That's to the sideline and incomplete. 
NFL quarterbacks work so hard on their mechanics and they do so much repetition and practice off season the whole deal they expect it to be autopilot once the game start that way it eliminates any type of pressure of the game pressure of people in your face all of that that didn't shine through on that throw though did it no a little bit of a dangerous pass and off target too and he'll get this up to the 34 yard line holding offense So not a lineman, but the tight end instead this time, drawing the holding call. And more and more what you're getting with tight ends are guys who are much more receiver than blocker. They may be willing, but that might not be their thing. Oftentimes, they'll be the ones getting the penalties. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. So a tough situation to overcome here. Third and 17. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Shot before the break, Stafford. That's caught left side. It's Higby, the tight end. So it's halftime here on sports' grandest stage in the Super Bowl. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. It was Joe Mixon who had it working in the first half. He chipped in a couple of touchdown runs as he was running with determination right from the word go. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl and a good effort on the return there gets him across the 30 up to the 33 for the Bengal offense ready to go to begin this third quarter and I think you'd have to say their coaching staff, all things considered, had to be pleased with their performance in the first half of this Super Bowl. Definitely pleased, doing their best not to show it to their team, of course, because as you and I both know, their mantra all season long has been finish. Get the job done. They know how close they are to lifting that trophy. One more solid half of football, and they can do exactly that. Mixon will get it to start the second half, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. Throw left side complete to Chase. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. When the spotlight is at its brightest, and let's face it, it's the Super Bowl. 
those types of plays come out, don't they? Absolutely. A big-time catch on the biggest of stages. Do you think that that one's going to live on? We're going to see this for a long it's time. definitely going to live on forever with him, that's oh, for sure. No doubt. He will find his man, Chase, complete. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Jamar Chase, 43 yards. And the Bengals will extend their third quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. And this is what coaches talk about, never being satisfied. No matter what the lead, always trying to increase it. You never know what can happen in this NFL. McPherson now for the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. A drive there of just four plays. And it was Jamar Chase who finished it off with a touchdown reception. the touchdown McPherson on to kick this one away and out a little across the 25 to the 27 now the attention turns back to the Rams offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half and their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. Now a first down throw. Stafford going to be taken in here by Nakua. Here's second and three. Stafford. Throw left side, complete to Cup. And Cup going to pick up a Rams first down as he'll be brought down at the 38-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets him a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. It's Logan Wilson there to bring him down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Third quarter, Super Bowl 58. Here's a second and 10 now. To throw is Stafford. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And down he goes, but the stiff arm utilized effectively there, and it helps him move the sticks. 48 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Here's Stafford. down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. 
Stafford to his number one guy cup for Los Angeles first. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. That'll be caught. It's caught. And down inside the 15 it goes. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. That's the third time on this drive that these two connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage, as shown by that last play. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, Stafford. Another completion for Cup. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. To throw a good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Puka Nakua. From 10 yards out. And the Rams are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and gets them right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. After reviewing the play, ruling on the field is reversed. So take away the touchdown there, as that's going to be ruled an incomplete pass. Now Brett Maher for the field goal try. From the left hash, a chip shot here. The kick by Maher is good. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. yards deep he'll bring it out of the end zone and this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27 yard line there's a look at receiver Jamar Chase as the Bengals get set to go on offense previous series definitely a focal point three catches the touchdown grab as a DB your former DB is there a number of catches on a drive you're like oh he got the best of us I'm not sure there's a number but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. <laughs> Especially with a touchdown. Yes. You're never way, happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of plays. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. We are 
are through three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium in Super Bowl 58. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This second and four. Folks, welcome back to the biggest stage in sports, the Super Bowl, and now we get down to the good stuff, the fourth and final quarter. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now it's Burrow. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or take away. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A well-executed 22-yard gain. The passing game continues to be their friend. Even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles, they're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame him? It's Mixon on the counter. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. The all-everything defensive tackle, Aaron Donald, the one who made the play there. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Now Burrow to throw on second down. This goes out wide for Mixon. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Well, normally you might say, start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter. But the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack. But you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game. And trusting this quarterback, I think you continue to do so. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll wind up being a huge loss on the play. Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. And we're at the time of this Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and 10. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, backdoored him, and that time worked well for a solid game. Stafford now to throw. Short throw, it's Higby. And Higby going to have a Rams first down as he'll get this up past the 40. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Play action. Stafford. He's going to look deep down the field. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception, but playing this way is what got him this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. Second and 10. Now Stafford. 
to the right side and complete to Atwell. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. In this situation, the dictation is coming from the defense, right? They're going to tell you. You're going to have six, seven yards. Do that all the way downfield. Let's just go ahead and take the time off the clock. I think they've got to start attacking vertically a lot more. The offense on third down tonight, they have been superb. Five for six to this point. Here it's third and three. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make a play. That one was right for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game, but it winds up incomplete. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. Here we go on fourth. Stafford. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Rams first down. The defense a little lax there. They give up nine on fourth and four. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted. And they did. Again, it's Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and 10. Now it's Stafford. Touchdown, Rams! Puka Nakua from 17 yards out. And the Rams have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. And we may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast, where it'll be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big time drive right there. If they're going to have any... And now the pressure gets there and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. So tried to throw it in for two points, but the D got home, brought him down. Yeah, got home, which means there had to be good coverage, just had nowhere to go with the ball. Typically, you're trying to throw quick hitters, quick slants, you know, maybe even a quick fade. Nothing was open. He ends up getting sacked. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And the tension ratcheting up all around. A one-score game, fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. This is what you folks came for. Every play with the potential to win or lose a title as they look to drain some time off this clock. Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll hand it off here. This is Mixon. And they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Fourth quarter. Down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Throwing now is Joe Burrow. Looking deep here for Chase. And that's caught at the 25. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down.
Inside handoff to Mixon. And he will have a Bengals first down. And it's celebration time on that sideline. And they've earned it. Take a knee. Mix it up the middle. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Time for this one final knee to put a ball on this title bow. I don't know why we did it, but we went to their final walkthrough for some reason. And what did we say? Their last play and walkthrough was taking a knee and celebrating winning a Super Bowl. They wanted that visualization. They did it for real. Yeah, they just scripted it out. Defense can't stop the clock. And they can watch the final seconds tick. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. Bengal Nation rejoice. Cincinnati has given you the Super Bowl title. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way. They'd have to face some adversity in, in the journey. And now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, they'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it.